Curtis Sliva is an American activist, radio talk show host and founder and chief executive officer of the Guardian Angels, a non-profit organization for unarmed crime prevention. Sliva was the Republican nominee for the 2021 New York City mayoral election, which he lost to Brooklyn Borough President Eric Adams. Curtis Sliva was born on March 26, 1954, into a Catholic family of Polish and Italian descent, in Canarsie, Brooklyn. He has two sisters. He attended Brooklyn Prep, a Jesuit high school from which he was later expelled, and graduated from Canarsie High School. In his youth, he worked as a delivery boy for the New York Daily News, where he was awarded the title of Newsboy of the Year and a trip to the White House after he saved several people from a burning building while on a paper route. Prior to founding the Guardian Angels, he was night manager of a McDonald's restaurant on Fordham Road in the Bronx. Guardian Angels in Miami Metrorail, 2001 in May 1977, Sliva created the Magnificent 13, a group dedicated to combating violence and crime on the New York City subway. At the time, the city was experiencing a crime wave. The Magnificent 13 grew, and was renamed the Guardian Angels in 1979. The group's actions drew strong reactions, both positive and negative. Membership of the Guardian Angels showed 80% of them were either black or Hispanic in ethnic origin. Unarmed, the group required training in karate and fulfillment of legal requirements for citizens' arrest for all members before they were to be deployed. Sliva's Red Beret is a component of the Guardian Angels' uniform. Mayor Ed Koch, a critic of Sliva and of the organization, launched an investigation into the Guardian Angels, which according to the Washington Post, proved so positive that the Guardian Angels will soon be awarded. Some sort of official status. Then Lt. Gov. Mario Cuomo was a rare early advocate of the organization, being quoted saying, T. Hay are a better expression of morality than our city deserves. In 1992, Sliva admitted that he and the Guardian Angels faked heroic subway rescues for publicity. He also admitted to having claimed falsely that three off-duty transit police officers had kidnapped him. In the early 1980s, he expanded operations to Buffalo, and was often critical of local police policies and practices. One incident involved Guardian Angels member Frank Melvin, who was fatally shot by a Newark police officer in December 1981 after an officer claimed they mistook his unzipping of his jacket, to display his Guardian Angels emblem, as a threat. Sliva claimed that the killing of Melvin, an African-American, was racially motivated, and had been done by a white officer who was being protected by the police department, rather than by the Hispanic officer identified as the shooter. An Essex County Grand Jury cleared both officers of charges related to Melvin's death. On June 19, 1992, Sliva was kidnapped and shot by two gunmen after entering a stolen taxi in Manhattan. The taxi picked up Sliva near his home in the East Village, and a gunman hiding in the front passenger seat jumped up and fired several shots, hitting him in the groin and legs. The kidnapping was foiled when Sliva leapt from a front window of the moving cab and escaped. Sliva underwent surgery for internal injuries and leg wounds. John A. Gotti in an FBI surveillance photo Federal prosecutors eventually charged John A. Gotti, the son of Gambino crime family leader John Gotti, with the attempted murder and a raft of other charges. Prosecutors claimed that Gotti was angered by remarks Sliva had made on his radio program about Gotti's father. However, after three attempts to try him, the last on September 20, 2005, three separate juries were unable to agree to convict Gotti on any of the charges brought against him, and the charges were dropped. Jurors later told reporters they did believe he had a role in Sliva shooting. Prosecutors declined to retry Gotti and dismiss the charges against him. Sliva said he would seek damages in civil court. Michael Yanati, a Gotti associate, was also charged with shooting Sliva in the incident but was acquitted. Yanati, however, was sentenced to 20 years on an unrelated racketeering charge. Still, Manhattan federal judge Shira Shendlin said evidence suggested Yanati was the shooter. Sliva in September 2007 Sliva and Ron Kuby with U.S. Representative Gary Ackerman in 2005 Sliva has been a radio broadcaster for three decades, most of that time on WABC AM, where he began his career in 1990. In 1994, the then city-owned and operated WNYC hired Sliva, who had been released by WABC. Some, including Sliva, have suggested that he was given access to the station by newly elected Mayor Rudy Giuliani, whom he had supported in the 1993 mayoral race. Sliva has become a populist conservative radio talk show host. Since 1996, 
He has hosted various radio programs on WABC, and in 2000, he became the co-host, with attorney Ron Kuby, of the long-running Curtis and Kuby in the Morning. The show lasted eight years before Citadel Broadcasting replaced the team with Don Imus. His longtime broadcast partner was lawyer Ron Kuby, with whom he had multiple times hosted in the past Curtis and Kuby weekday radio show at noon, on WABC AM in New York City. Starting in June 2017, Slivas co-host was attorney and television commentator, Ebony Williams. His most recent co-host was Juliet Huddy, who joined the show in February 2019. The Curtis Live Alive program began national syndication on December 1, 2008. WABC retained Sliva until November 2009, when his show was cancelled after a contract dispute. He hosted both the morning and evening drive time shows on MIM AM 970, but as of January 2, 2014, Sliva returned to WABC, replacing Rush Limbaugh who moved to War AM. Prior to his mayoral campaign. A Bronx lawyer lodged a complaint against Sliva, alleging he was promoting his mayoral candidacy on his show, which would violate campaign laws. Sliva said he was considering quitting his show, but would only make a decision after he garnered enough signatures to appear on the ballot for the Republican primaries. After officially declaring his candidacy in March 2021, Sliva's radio program went on hiatus. In September 2016, Sliva launched a successful hostile takeover of the Reform Party of New York State. The party lost its ballot access in the November 2018 elections. In December 2019, Sliva declared in an interview that he hated then-Republican President of the United States Donald Trump, calling him a screwball and a crackpot. In February 2021, weeks after Trump left office, Sliva switched from the Reform Party to the Republican Party. Sliva changed parties and lost control over the Reform Party after losing the required votes to keep the Reform Party on the ballot. In that moment, Curtis Sliva lost the Reform Party NYS and Bill C. Merrill regained control over the NYS Reform Party and is now again, NYS chair of the Reform Party and the official state party is again affiliated with the National Reform Party. Sliva announced on March 8, 2020, that he would be running for mayor of New York City in 2021 as a Republican seeking to become the 110th mayor of New York City. Billionaire businessman John Katsimatidis, who had earlier mulled a mayoral run, endorsed Sliva, who had become an employee of his after his 2020 purchase of WABC from Cumulus Media. Once friends, the primary race turned Sliva and Fernando Mateo into bitter rivals. The Manhattan, Queens and Bronx Republican parties endorsed Mateo, while the Staten Island and Brooklyn Republican parties endorsed Sliva. Sliva criticized Matteo for donating to the 2017 re-election campaign of Mayor Bill de Blasio, a Democrat, and Sliva also accused Matteo of breaking the law. Matteo replied that Sliva's accusations were bogus and shameful. During the campaign, Matteo and Sliva clashed over loyalty to former President Donald Trump. Matteo believes the baseless claims that Trump won the 2020 presidential election. By contrast, Sliva did not support Trump in either 2016 or 2020, and does not support Trump's baseless claims of election fraud. The unofficial results showed Sliva winning by 72 to 28 percent. Sliva has run on a platform opposing the defund the police movement, supporting a property tax overhaul so that working-class residents would not pay higher property taxes than wealthy citizens. Keeping in place the specialized high school's admissions test while increasing opportunities for vocational training in charter schools, and focusing on fiscal restraint. He also opposes the killing of unwanted animals and supports making all animal shelters no kill shelters. Sliva campaigned on beginning a trial program, if elected, to test out the feasibility of UBI in New York City. Sliva lost to Brooklyn Borough President Eric Adams in a landslide defeat in the general election on November 2, 2021. Sliva conceded that same night, calling for unity in order to save New York City. Sliva at a Toronto gathering, in July 2006 Silva is a Roman Catholic. Sliva has been married four times. He wed his second wife, Lisa Evers, in 1981. At the time, she was national director of the Guardian Angels and co-hosted a WABC AM radio show called Angels in the Morning. She is also a martial arts expert who briefly trained with the World Wrestling Federation in 1986. In 2000, Sliva married his third wife, Mary Galda, a former WABC employee who also served as the Guardian Angels national director. They have one son, Anthony Chester. Sliva was diagnosed with prostate cancer in 2010, which he announced publicly on April 20, 2011. 
Sliva was in a relationship with Melinda Katz, the Queens County District Attorney, and separated from her in 2014. They have two children together, conceived in vitro over the previous five years. She is named in a court case involving Sliva, accused by his ex-wife Mary of diverting money to Katz while still married to Mary, as part of a plan to build a nest egg with Katz prior to moving in with her. In 2018 Sliva wed Nancy Regula at the Howe Caverns. Thanks for watching.